There's been a big breakthrough in the race to turn the very popular GLP-1 weight loss drugs from an injectable medicine into a pill. Eli Lilly and company has developed a drug called Orphoglipron that is performing very well in testing. If approved by federal regulators, it could become the first of its kind to treat obesity. Because Orphoglipron is an oral, it has a few advantages over the injectables. The first is that many patients uh, see, and doctors, I should say, see an injectable as a, as a more severe, or serious medicine. And they think, well, I'm not that sick. I have maybe a early milder obesity or early milder type two diabetes. I'm not ready for an injection. Give me a pill. The second is, is obvious. Needles are scary to people and injections sometimes can hurt. And there are people who just say, I'm not gonna take an injection. And, and so for them, great to have an oral and, and we're happy to do that. The, the third is a more sort of pragmatic, logistical problem. In, injectables um, come in devices and, and automated syringes. They need to be refrigerated. They need to be shipped in refrigerated trucks and stored at the pharmacy in refrigerators. So what happens when a patient goes to a pharmacy today is they're often told, oh, we don't have that medicine, come back in a few days. Why doesn't the pharmacy have it? Because they need to keep it refrigerated. They only have a few small refrigerators. We make different strengths and they come in big boxes and their refrigerators can't accommodate it. So they end up sort of trying to get it for patients when they need it. So, so there are all of these logistical challenges in getting it. That's here in the United States. In other countries, it, it could be even harder and maybe they don't have great infrastructure for refrigerated transport of medicines or refrigerators at their pharmacies. And so as we think about obesity as a, as a global um, problem, we need medicines that can just be made and shipped and used more easily, and, and an oral fits in there. And finally, I, I don't know if this drives patients or, or doctors thinking, but it drives our thinking. I injectables require plastic devices and needles, and that translates into medical waste. And uh, as we think about a billion people around the world with obesity and type 2 diabetes, it would be better to have solutions that don't create that waste, and an oral obviously is, is much more efficient in that way. Lilly is expected to seek approval for Orphoglipron later this year, after more studies are completed. If it's approved, the pills could be on shelves at some point next year. That could fuel even bigger demand for these weight loss medicines, since pills would likely be cheaper than the current injectable formulations.